so I got a little uh, piece of poetry for you guys. And I don't really care if you're listening or not, because most of you are. The mystic plane that we all contain multiple personalities. Many researchers in psychology and neuroscience now share this startling view. As he indicated, the eye who toils at the job does not seem the same eye who makes love with joy and passion. And the third eye who occasionally gets angry for no evident reason seems a third personality, etc. There does not appear anything metaphysical about this. It even appears measurably on electro-current wave that Dr. Frank Putnam of the National Institute of Health found that extreme cases of multiple personality, the only ones that orthodox psychiatry recognizes show quite distinct brain waves for each personality, almost as if the researchers had taken the electrodes off the one subject and attached them to one another. See, Dr. Nobody gives a fuck defines this as separate personalities and state-specific information systems. Not only do we show different personalities when drunk and when sober, like Chaplin's millionaire said, but we have different information banks, memories in these states in our head. Thus, most people have noted that something that have happened to them while drunk appears totally forgotten until they get intoxicated again, and then the neurotin and the memory miraculously reappears to them. This observation of state-specific information occurs even more frequently with LSD. Nobody really remembers the richness of an LSD voyage until they take another dose with me. Emotional states seem part of a circular causal loop with brain chemistry. It seems impossible to snoop for science in the early days say that we're one part of a circle that causes other parts. Thus, we can now understand a phenomenon mentioned earlier, namely that we tend to remember happy experiences when happy and sad experiences when sad and apart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>